All right, guys, today we're gonna learn where to put your tongue when you play the saxophone. Hey everyone, this is Tim Lin. Welcome again back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to talk about jazz articulation. And basically, I'm gonna teach you where to put your tongue. And what I mean by that is, in jazz, the articulation is different from classical music, where in classical music, basically you read everything um, as it is on the page. Everything is perfectly written. In jazz, there's more of a triplet feeling uh, behind the eighth notes. So that, that changes the length of the eighth notes. But what you have to realize is, there's a certain way to play the eighth notes that makes it swing, and that's coming from jazz articulation. The baseline technique for jazz articulation is tongue, tongue slur, tongue slur. So what I mean by that is like, do, du, du. And a great way to practice jazz articulation is through scales, like your major scales. And you can practice your major scales with a lot of different tonguings. This is without ghosting, by the way. Ghosting is um, a way to accent certain notes to make certain notes pop out, which is uh, what Charlie Parker, um, invented basically when he started playing bebop. Once you get this basic jazz articulation thing down, then you can start ghosting notes after that. And then you get a lot of variety. And that's where guys like Sonny Rollins is so amazing at. So everyone kind of has their own way of playing eighth notes, but this is the basic um, exercise. So we're gonna go up the modes on D major scale like this. <laughs> At the beginning, you might not be able to do this really fast, but always practice this with a metronome. Go really slow at the beginning and really focus on connecting your time together. And it's, it's a connection of the air stream, the fingers, and the tongue. Those three things all connect. And once that happens, it's like a switch, Swiss watch. Everything works together. Here's a, a second example that you can do. It's called the reverse modes, where you go up the modes of D major. And you can do this, I do this in all the keys. You can just try one key a week if you need to. Don't overwhelm yourself. But um, if you think about this, it's definitely gonna get better. So I'm gonna go up and down the modes now. <laughs> that too so and eventually you can start changing the keys and um, work it all through the horn and always use a metronome to get those eighth notes in time thanks again for watching this video guys if you like this video please hit the like or subscribe button i really appreciate all the support and if you want you can also follow me on instagram at timlinbebop thank you guys see you on the next one